Hey guys, in this video I will show you the basics of Adobe Illustrator CC in about 5 minutes. After opening the application for the first time you could start with the tutorial on the Learn tab. Better go ahead now and create a new document and then you can decide which type of document you like to create. When you choose Art and Illustration, the color mode is set to RGB. For Print it is set to CMYK. But these are just presets, you can define all the values like Width, Height or Resolution and you press Create and here's your document. You can pan the view by pressing the spacebar and dragging the mouse. You can zoom it in and out when you press the Alt key and move the mouse wheel. Or move the document with the mouse wheel up, down, left or right. You can modify your layout by moving around the windows. Or you can dock or hide them. And when you close the window but want to see it again, you can open the Windows menu and change the visibility. This layout is called a workspace in Illustrator. And you find all the workspaces here in the toolbar. There are predefined workspaces, but you can define a new workspace, which is a custom one. And you can manage your custom workspaces by choosing Manage Workspaces. Here you can delete the existing ones or create new ones. Ok, now let's come to the tools, for example the shape tools like the rectangle, that you can activate by pressing the M key. You can drag the shape into your document. And when you hold the Shift key, you force a uniform scale. You can set a fill color for a shape. For example when you go to the appearance window and then choose a color. The same can be done for the stroke and you can also set the size of the stroke here. Ok, the next tool is the selection tool. You can open it as well by using the shortcut V. And with this selected you can move around your shape or you can drag the points and change the size. Again when you hold the shift key down you create a uniform scale. If you want to use the direct selection tool you can press the A key. And with this you can modify the path of your shape. And you can also create round corners for selected anchors when you drag this point here. It appears for selected anchors and this works for multi-selection as well. With the pen tool that you activate by pressing the P key, you can add or remove points from your path. I added the point, then move it with the direct selection tool and then again create a round corner. What you will use very often is to combine shapes. So go ahead now and create a new rectangle, define a fill color. Then I select both shapes and go to the Pathfinder window and select this icon here to subtract the shape at the front from the shape behind it. Ok, I undo this and then I show you a different operation of the Pathfinder and this is to union the selected objects. This means the shapes are merged. Again I undo this and show you a different approach and this is the tool Shape Builder that you can also use to combine shapes when you just hold the left mouse button down and then drag with the mouse over two shapes. Or when you hold the Alt key pressed and then hover with the cursor over a part of a shape and then click the left mouse button, then you subtract this part from the shape. Ok, the next tool is the Type tool that you activate by pressing the T key and it is a tool for adding text. It is a text tool like you know from Photoshop, you can define a text, then the text size or the font. When you have the selection tool activated, you can move the text around or change the size. The list of available fonts you find here in the toolbar and when you hover over a font, you can see the preview on your text element. You can define effects for your shapes, also for the text. And I activate here a drop shadow. For that you can set parameters like opacity or offset. The effect can be previewed. And when you press the OK button, it will be applied. Like in Photoshop, the shapes that you add to your canvas are arranged on layers. I add here a new shape, set the fill color to blue. And in the layers window, you can see we have three items on one layer. I move the item that I just added to the bottom and you can see it is behind the red one. So this is a kind of priority stack inside of layers. What you can do as well is to select shapes and then group them by pressing Ctrl and G. This group can be selected then and transformed like if it was one shape. Another important tool is the eraser. You can activate it by pressing Shift and E. You can set the size either by using the tool options and then use the size slider. But I prefer using the keyboard shortcuts, the bracket keys. Another powerful tool is the brush tool. Activate it by pressing the B key and then you can paint with a brush like you know it from Photoshop. What you painted is turned into a smooth line and like every item it is a vector graphic. 
There are different brushes available and you can also open the brush library where you find a large number of brushes, also artistic ones. Of course you can use the eraser tool as well to remove your strokes. The last tool that I want to show you is the gradient tool that you can enable by pressing the G key. After that you just select the shape for which you want to apply the gradient. For the gradient you can define the fill colors and also the range, location and direction. I do this here for a linear gradient, other gradient types are freeform or radial. Ok guys, this was a 5 minutes overview for Adobe Illustrator CC 2019, I really hope you like it. If you do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let me know if you are interested in particular Illustrator tutorials, it is great for 2D game assets for example. Thanks for watching guys, thanks for your support and I see you on JNM.